Hugo. Hello, Missy Barr. How are you doing? Thank you. Okay. All right. So, Missy Barr, you are on probation out of this court for criminal mischief, and it's a state jail felony. So, if you were revoked, how much time are you looking at, do you think? Um, what do you think the range of punishment is for that offense? Not sure. Up to two years in the state jail facility. And going to the state jail facility is different than going to prison. Because at the state jail facility, it's day for day time. So if you're sentenced to two years, <laughs> you are doing two calendar years. And the report I'm receiving on you is you don't want to do your UA and you're not reporting. So that tells me that maybe you want to go to prison. Would you like to go to the state jail facility? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. No. All right. So when you're drug tested today, because I see you don't want to do a drug test. You're going to do a drug test. Yes, you are. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Can you put her in the box? Yes. Yes. I was going to say, we, we tried this and we went to the ladies' room and she refused to submit. All right. If you'll file a motion to revoke, please. Yes, sir. And we will sign that. Let's go. Calling 2022 CR 7494, State of Texas versus Cortez Lamar Polk. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel yeah, Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense. Michael Bellavo for Mr. Polk. Are you Mr. Polk? Yes, ma'am. I'm Mr. Polk. Cortez. Okay. Wait, are you Polk Cortez or Cortez Lamar Polk? Polk. Cortez Lamar Polk. Okay. Going to show you what's entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Truly, yes. Are you the same Cortez Polk who was placed on community supervision in 2022 CR 7494 for the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, one gram to four grams on August 23rd, 2022 for a term of five years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. A violated condition number two, on or about the 31st day of August 2023 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant Cortez Lamar Polk then in there admits the illegal use of K2 in violation of condition number two. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Your Honor, state waives all the violations. Any objections? No objections, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number two, the court could find it true, grant the motion, send it you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $1,500 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number two? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number two true. Is there a proposed agreement? Yes, Your Honor, so I'll get an amend for DDRF and you deny the motion. That is the agreement. All right. What is the wait time for DDRF? All right. So what's the other option than waiting in jail for six to 13 weeks? No, we um, he's already done lifetime recovery twice. He did some church at drug court. Um, he was in drug court from 10 to 17 to 11 to 3 when um, he was exited because of the Muslim people. There are some mental health um, issues, and there aren't any other viable. Does felony drug court want him back? All right, we'll see if felony drug court wants you back. He hmm? would rather not go back. To would he rather? Court. Would you rather go to prison? No, ma'am, but I don't want to go back to drug court. Well, it's either that or prison. Which would you prefer? Because it appears that you won't stop using drugs. Why are you not? Why do you continue to use drugs? That's the question to my mental health all right so the persons who can address that mental health will be felony drug court and i know why people don't want to go to felony drug court because it's hard 
because they make you do stuff every day because you can't just lay in bed all day and get up at noon and think that's getting up in the morning. But here's the thing, the state and your attorney are trying to help you with your mental health issues. But if you don't want help with your mental health issues, then the choice for you is prison. Now, if you would like to go to prison, I will send you to prison. You can go to prison for three years. Would you like to go to prison for three years? Oh, man. All right. So obviously you're not in charge of your mental health. You're not in charge of your ability to remain clean and sober, because if you were, we would not be here. You would have successfully completed felony drug court. You would have successfully completed lifetime in the sense that you're not back here. It appears that your answer to whatever issues you have is always drugs. And there are legal drugs and you're on probation for drugs. So what do you want us to do? I mean, that's a question. What do you want me to do? I need some help. I need help. Well, I'm giving you help. I'm Your help is you going back to give, my, give me some help. Yeah. Felony that's drug court. Felony drug me. court. That's help. Now, if you don't want that, then you can go to prison. It's completely up to you. Those are your choices. Either you are going to go to the programs that are recommended for you, or either you can go to prison. And guess what? If you go to prison, will I remember you and your name and everything? Yeah, because my mind is a steel trap. But am I going to be laying down at night crying because, oh my gosh, Mr. Pope went to prison because he chose to go to prison? No, because guess what? There's somebody else over in the box who probably needs help as well. And they're going to say, I'll take whatever help you can give me as opposed to prison. So those are your choices. I'll take a drug court. All right. Do a referral back to felony drug court. If felony drug court says no, then he can wait in custody for DDRF. And I'll deny the motion. Thank you, Judge. All right. Thank you. All right. And are you Stephanie Cleve and state's motion a supplement pending motion to revoke community supervision? Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Are you the same Stephanie Cleve who was placed on community supervision in 2022 CR 8049 for the offense of theft under $2,500 and hence on September 22nd, 2022 for a period of three years? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Um. Honor about uh, violating condition number two, honor about the 18th day of May, 2023 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Stephanie Cleed did then and there fail to submit to drug testing as directed by the court, court officer, supervision officer, and or a duly authorized agent of the court in violation of condition number two. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. And the state will waive and abandon the other allegations. Any objections to the waivers? No objection, your honor. All right, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number two, the court could find it true, grant the motion, sentence you up to a thousand dollar fine in one year in the state jail facility? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you st still wish to plead true to violation of condition number two? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number two true. Is there a proposed agreement? Yes, Your Honor. The state is uh, recommending that the uh, conditions be to deny the motion and that the conditions be altered and amended for a six months extension of the community supervision and a 30 day jail sanction with credit for time served. Um, and she has been in jail the last 30 days and um, a BIPP course. And taking that into consideration, the state is uh, making a motion to dismiss night mag number 719294. 719294. And what is that offense? That's a uh, assault family second offense. And who is the complainant in that case? Her name is Nora. Laura Sabatino, Your Honor. Nora. Laura. L a u r a. And I just spoke with her, um, and she is aware of, of the situation. Okay. And and what's the last name? Sabatino. S a b a t i n o. All right. Are you asking the court to follow that agreement? Um, yes. Are you right. waiving your right to appeal? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. Yes. Yes. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Stephanie Clee. All right. Who is Laura Sabatino to you? Uh, she is my partner, girlfriend. All right. And do you currently live with her? Yes, ma'am. And does she want her living with her? 
I believe she does. Yes, Your Honor. So I realize you all are taking that in consideration, but part of my job is to make sure that everyone is protected. So with regards to that case, were there any injuries? There was some redness, it, not serious injuries or anything. All right. Well, was there alcohol or anything involved with that? I don't believe there's immediate evidence that there was alcohol involved. All right. Why are you doing poorly on probation? Because there are pretty there are other allegations that the state could have proceeded on and they did not. So why are you doing poorly? Why are you not taking your drug testing? Uh, Your Honor, um, I was taking care of my father and I had a lot of uh, a lot of stress and I didn't have a vehicle at the time. Uh, so it was hard getting around. Did you call probation and tell them that? Yes, ma'am. So you called and told them I'm not going to do drug testing because I'm taking care of my father and there are other issues I have going on. Well, no, ma'am, but I, I did keep in contact with my uh, probation officer and let her know uh, that I did not have a vehicle, but I did show up, you know, on time. Are you, my... are you employed? Um, I do Uber and DoorDash right now. That's All right. No, were you employed uh, July 2nd, 2023? No, ma'am. September? Yes, the end of September. All right. So how much were you being paid? Um, not much. I was doing just, um, maybe two days a week. So, um, why do you take the via bus? Excuse me? Why didn't you take the via bus to probation via when I was riding via, I think it was a dollar. They may have gone up to $2. Yes, ma'am. That's cheaper than gas. So why didn't you go and do your UA with probation? Because when people don't do UAs in court, that tells me that there's a drug issue going on. Cause otherwise you would do your UAs. Well, the ones I did take, I, I was negative. Mm -hmm. but I know what you're saying, though. Yana, yes, with all due respect. So you've given me no excuses for why I should follow this agreement. You picked up a new case. The state is taking it in consideration. And you're not doing your UAs. Has she done anything? Um, I'd like to have the order um, her last office visit to probation was July 24th of 2023. So since July, um, I don't know how long she's been in custody, but I'm having had any office visits with her. We only have one looking at it, one UA on file, and that one looks negative. As far as fees is concerned, there's not been any fees. Um, there's no fees that she paid on. Your Honor, can I say something? And Just one second. It appears she hasn't registered from the best course. Um, mm -hmm. She would be did her tap evaluation. And um, she has not been registered yet to the IOP because of the um, Excuse me. Part. You need to be paying attention to what you have not been doing. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Otherwise, you can pay attention at the state jail facility, wondering how I got here. All right. So, what else? Um, have not enrolled her into the IOP because of the tap evaluation. Mm -hmm. And then um, it doesn't indicate she provided proof All right. So, do you need an updated tap or no? And I'm sorry, Judge, um, all the community services are still um, outstanding. So do you need an updated tap? No, we can use the tap that we have on file. All right. And there appears that there was something you wanted to say? Um, Your Honor, yes, I did complete the first death class. Um, that should be on record, but the other one was like $300 and I was working on completing that. Mm -hmm. And I will do my community service. I will be on top of that. Um, and I will do better. I promise, Your Honor. All right. The court will deny the motion. Alternate man conditions, extend her for a year. You're to enroll in the BIPP course, no later than
Let's see what the calendar gives us. No later than November 13th. There is to be no contact with Laura Sabatino. There's a 30 day jail sanction. And the court will show that that's been satisfied. Taking consideration NIMAC number 719294. And she's in, to enroll an IOP no later than November 9th. And is there anything else that she needs to enroll in immediately, probation? Connor, um, <coughs> Not possible, but we should get the, um, the process started by November. All right. Um, All right, and you're going to do sober ninety sober support meetings in ninety days. And if Miss Laura Sabatino wants to have contact with you, then she'll need to come into the court to express that to the court. Your Honor, she's here now. I don't know if you want to talk to her now. Um, from what I understand is that they live together. They help take care of her elderly father. She's part of attorney of her 76-year-old father who has needs help on his day-to-day -day activities. Laura Sabatino is now, if you'd like to talk to her, I'm sure she she would love to change that to no harmful or injurious contact. Uh, if you want to talk to her another day, I, I, I... Yeah, we'll have to set it for another day because I don't have any police reports or any facts on that. But once, if you'll set that, that with Ms. Ferguson, we'll get it on the docket as soon as possible. We'll probably be able to get it on the docket for next week. All right. And then if we'll set it next week, then we can do a check-in on how she's doing. Norma, can you recall this for uh, November? What date would be best to recall her for to see how she's doing probation? Okay. All right. Well, whenever you want to put it on the docket for Ms. Sabatino, just let the court know. Yes. Well, he said he's going to file a motion so that she can have contact with Ms. Sabatino. Yes. All right. Thank you.